大家好，欢迎来到我的小博客。Hi, welcome to my channel. In this short video, I will talk about the differences between R, 两，俩 something that you will definitely come across on your HSK test. If you're preparing for an HSK exam or learning Chinese by yourself, hit the subscribe button to be the first one to get more language learning tips and insights from me. Now, we're starting. Okay, let's start. So you use R in numbers. 二十七 ，twenty-seven， 五十二 ，fifty-two。When you count， 一二三四 ，one two three four。When you enumerate， 第一 ，the first， 第二 ，the second， 第三 ，the third。When you give your phone number， apartment number， room number， any other kind of number， for example， 我的电话号码是一二三四 ，my phone number is one two three four。You also use it when you do math. 二加二等于四 Two plus two makes four. And you also use R when it means the second. 二楼 second floor. 二月 February. 二号 second day of the month. Or 第二名 second place in some kind of ranking or competition. Now you use liang when you mean two of something. When you're talking about quantity of something, and in this case, most of the time you need a measure word. 两个人 two people. 两位老师 two teachers. 两个月 two months. 两块钱 two renminbi, or literally two pieces of money. With days, years, and age, you do not need a measure word. 两天 two days. 两年 Two years, 两岁 two years old. Now there are two cases in which R and 两 are both grammatically okay, but in most cases in regular speech you're gonna hear 两 That's for big numbers like 两百两千两万 and for time 两点 two o'clock. The HSK test will not make you choose between 两百 and 二百 because the grammar allows both variants. But in 90% of the cases from Chinese native speakers, you're gonna hear 两百两点 Now, what about 俩 It's a combination of 两 and the measure word 个 So in any case, when you use 两个 you can also say 俩 For example, instead of 两个人 two people, you can say 俩人 It can also be used after pronouns and nouns when you mean the two of them. For example, 我们俩 the two of us. 他们俩 the two of them. 父母俩 mom and dad. 姐妹俩 the two sisters. And now it's your turn to try and pick the right answer. Comment below what other topics you would like me to cover, and、uh, thanks for watching. 谢谢大家耐心观看，下次再见，拜拜。